I've been a long time fan of the Canon G cameras. I've had a couple over the years. Most recently the G12 and tote that around a bit if I don't want to carry my DSLR. And I was thinking of upgrading. I know there's the 15, they got the 16 coming out. And I realized I wasn't doing myself any favors with that. And actually ended up buying an Olympus uh, Pen EPL3. Basically a micro four thirds system. You can see uh, size wise they're really, the bodies are the same. And with the lens, this lens, obviously a little bit bigger there. But uh, what you get inside makes up all the difference. And aside from being interchangeable lenses, which is great, um, it's really about the sensor size because the sensor in this is basically the same as any tiny little point and shoot. And that's where you're not doing yourself any favor. Um, if you look at the wiki, uh, you can see, uh, let's see, the uh, sensor, it's this red one in these uh, cannons. It's one 0.7 inch. That's the sensor. I mean, if you look at the red, that's the four third system. So it's quite a bit larger. Quite a bit larger. That gives you quite a bit of benefit in depth of field and how you can manipulate, you know, that with lenses. So it's not worth for me to lug this stuff around anymore. And I'll end up selling this because you get way better control over those things with the larger sensor, also nice interchangeable lenses. Um, so we'll take a quick look at the true benefit of that and sort of how stuff that's going to be flat with this camera isn't going to be with the Olympus. Alright, just a quick demo here of basically the manipulation and depth of field that you can't really do with these smaller sensors. So if I kind of just get this flower in the front and focus and take a picture um, it comes out pretty flat and basically you know everything's in focus here you just can't get that that nice depth of field basically getting the background blurry and if we do the same same sort of shot here um, you can see flower in focus um, but everything in the back is blurry so that's really the advantage of that li larger sensor um, also lower light situation it's gonna be much much better in that as well so for me it was a no-brainer that if I'm gonna be carrying around these cameras that you know make it worth my while. If I don't want the full DSLR, then Micro Four Thirds is gonna give me quite a lot that a little point and shoot won't. And basically this is just a really big point and shoot that costs a lot.